Hey, this is Digital Bike Computing. My name is Emilio, and today we're gonna go through the steps on how to set up an Apple TV. You've just got yourself an Apple TV. We're gonna go through the steps on how to plug it up to your television, and then do some basic configuration to get it up and running and working really, really well. Before we do that, please subscribe, clicking on the notification bell to be kept up to date with all of my tech video releases. So let's get ourselves our Apple TV and get it up and running. So here's the Apple TV. Uh, we've just unboxed it, it's ready to go. On the back of our Apple TV, the first thing we wanna do is of course, plug the power in. That's gonna be plugged into a power socket. Get your own HDMI cable running into the back of the Apple TV. Now on the very far right, you've got ethernet as well, if you so choose to plug it in, rather than going over Wi-Fi for your network. The other end of the HDMI obviously running into the back of the TV. You can then switch your TV on and navigate to your HDMI port and it should show up. You've now got your Apple TV remote, which you have to ensure is turned on and you should be able to navigate up and down on your very first menu. First step is now to select your language. In our case, it's going to be English, so I'm gonna leave that as English. Select your country or region, I'm in Australia. Then there's an overview around the data and privacy that Apple provides, you can click on continue. On your remote here, you can actually use Siri. So you can actually communicate to your Apple TV using Siri. So you can select don't use or use. We will select use Siri. Do you want to improve Siri dictation? So this is uh, essentially sending some recordings over to Apple so that they can hear the recordings to learn better. I'm gonna say not now. Do you wanna set up your device over um, your, a different device such as your iPhone? We're gonna set it up manually uh, rather than doing it over an iPhone or an iPad, for example. The next step is to get your uh, Apple TV connected to your Wi-Fi network. So select your Wi-Fi network and throw in your password. Once it's connected to your Wi-Fi network, it'll activate to ensure that your Apple TV is ready to go. Throw in your Apple ID, which you should already have. If you don't, you'll need to create a new one. It may ask you for a verification code. So if you do have, say, a paired iPhone or iPad, you may get a code onto your iPhone asking you to input that into your Apple TV to verify that you are who you say you are. If you have multiple Apple TVs, you can turn that option on so that they're all in sync. It will then ask you where your Apple TV is. I'm in the living room, so I'm selecting living room. We'll turn location services on. And now you can actually select your screensaver. So automatically download screensavers of the world, different sites and, and things like that. We're gonna automatically download it because they are quite cool. Analytics, so this is essentially letting Apple know of the stats of your Apple TV. I say yes. And also the same for app analytics if you wanna be able to send stats to developers of your apps. Do you accept the terms and conditions? If you do, you can select agree. And there you have it, there the Apple TV is now up and running. You can go and navigate through your Apple TV and do everything that you want, uh, connected to your Netflix, connected to your Hulu, connected to all of your other services. So there you have it, simple, simple steps on how to configure, how to connect and how to set up your Apple TV. Hopefully you were successful and you're watching a range of things on your Apple TV right now. Please comment below, like this video, and as well as that, subscribe to my channel, Digital Byte Computing, and click on the notification bell for all of my tech video releases. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.